Hey guys, I'm Will. As you can see, I have a group lithium battery packs here that need a BMS and just got a new one. So in this video, we'll focus on the BMS, the battery management system and its functions. So now let's see what's inside here. Okay, this is from Dolly BMS. Okay, let's see, this is the menu, the operation instructions. Put it here. These are some accessory kits. Okay, let's see what they are. Okay, it's the upper wires here. We put it. Okay, also the screws. And this is the Bluetooth module. These are sampling wires. Okay, this should be like the temperature control line, the NTC from. So this is RS45 and CAN communication wires. Now, oh, this is the BMS manuals, I guess. Okay, it's the BMS from Dali. Well, that's the whole package. It seems quite complete, but I will put them aside for now and we'll figure out what they're useful later. This is 16 screens for 8 volt smart BMS and special for Liphy P4 batteries. The discharge current is 100 amperes. It can totally miss the needs of regular electric tricycles and golf cars. And because this is smart type, there's some interactive ports on both sides, like UART. You can connect equipped with the Bluetooth module. Then you can connect the BMS via your phones to check the battery parameters. Also, the other UART port can connect the GPS module, etc. And NTC ports. And this is used to check the battery's real time temperature here. And there are RS45 in the CAN sockets. You can connect an external display or computer host to check and modify related parameters. The key is a key switch. You can connect an outside switch to control the discharging and charging. There are also the DO port. You can customize some functions with it like a buzzer or the heating function, etc. Anyway, the expensive functions smart BMS are really useful. I will give them post one by one for you next time. What perhaps you'll notice as well, the design is so compact, it's small and light. Alright, after checking the outside, now we're going to take the BMS part to see the level of its internal technology. Oh, so cool. Now you can see Dunley's BMS use all-round glow injection process for waterproof and dustproof. So I can take it apart by hand. I think I need to look for a glue melting furnace first. Okay, here is the PCB base board of the BMS. All sorts of design components are on it. This area called here is the charging and discharging most tubes of the BMS. And we can regard it as a switch. When the BMS triggers protection mechanism, the most tubes cut off and the entire circuit loses power. So it plays a very important role in the entire BMS. But who's in charge of this smart switch? Here. This is MCU. All the data signals detected by the BMS are sent here and then it controls them all together. And sure, there are also balancing resistors here for balancing the voltage differences of the battery pack. And also, currently, all of the smart BMS have a one ampere current limiting module, it's here. Suppose the battery pack does not have enough capacity and you want to parallel another one to increase it, then the current limiting module can ensure the safety of the parallel connection. The pre-charge capacity function in the BMS is also very important, which is to prevent large controller capacitors in some vehicles. The capacitors need to be charged first, otherwise there might be a charging problem. So let's take a closer look at the overall heat dissipation. On the top of the most tubes, the whole thing is covered with a silicon heat dissipation bar. And this generation, BMS directly placed the heat dissipation vent next to the most working area and reducing the heat dissipation time significantly. And the material is heat dissipation aluminum only and its temperature control performance is better. So in non-extreme cases, the temperature will be controlled quite well. Okay, all right. So in this video, I'm giving you a quick look at its appearance and the structure of the BMS. And in the next video, I'm going to take a close look at the actual performance to see whether it's as good as it looks. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.